Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am gonna head to at home just because I need to get out for a little bit. I need to stop decorating so much. I need to stop editing so much. I need to step away <laughs> I need to take a little step back from my uh, decorating series for this day. I have one video in the can, uh, but you might see this one first. Uh, I'm anxious to show you that one though. It's of my grandma's little hutch. Uh, and it is, it turned out really pretty, you guys. I'm really super happy with it. And again, I, I combined the old with the new. You know, and I, I'm just thrilled with how it worked out. But I'll be honest with you, I am tired and I need a little bit of a break. And I sometimes have to tap myself on the shoulder and say, hey, Arlen, <laughs> knock it off, girl. Find your off switch. Go and have a little bit of fun don't think about decorating anything today you know just it'll be there goodness knows it'll be there and i don't have that much more to do uh so i'm taking the day off from my crafting now y'all might see this later this evening y'all know i put up my uh lantern centerpiece or y'all may, may see this tomorrow I go get my hair done tomorrow, tomorrow being Wednesday. I go get my hair done tomorrow. But these videos are easy to edit because I really don't edit <laughs> too much. I just kind of put it up, you know, put it into my, my editing program and maybe add a little bit of music at the beginning and the end. But I, I pretty much put them up. And of course, if I get anything from at home, I'll haul it. I may haul it right here in the car, actually, so that I can just put this up pretty quick either on Tuesday evening or Wednesday morning uh, but I I Danielle kind of gave me a little talking to in a comment yesterday and, and she said girl you need to slow down and she's right I'm 57 years old she's young enough to be my daughter and she's telling me <laughs> she's a wise lady you know she's a wise lady and you know there are times when I need somebody to to give me a you know, a tap in on the shoulder and say, you're doing a little bit too much. You're pushing yourself too much. I've been doing stuff through the weekends when I, normally, as you all know, I usually take the weekends off, <clears throat> but I've been decorating and editing and everything and commenting and everything, you know, right through the weekends. And it's, it's gotten to be gotten to me just a bit, you guys, <laughs> just a bit. As much as I love to decorate and as much as I love to video and all this whole process of YouTube, I love it. Absolutely love it. But I don't want to get burned out. I'm really afraid that if I keep up at this pace, and I know myself, I've said this before, I know myself that I, I am going to burn out. Too I am going to head to Home Goods. I'm going to walk around in there for a little bit. Uh, Chris is doing air, uh, doing his own errands. He went out for himself and did his own errands. <clears throat> He's doing some stuff. I'm doing some stuff. And then we'll come together and we'll go to lunch together. Anyway, I have lost 52 pounds. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm still losing. Uh, I had to recover from Christmas. That took me a while. I didn't think that would take me so long. But that took me a little while to recover from Christmas. So I'm recovered now. And... Um, Hopefully, it's going to start back down that scale, and um, I'd like to lose another 40 pounds, you guys. I don't know whether that'll happen or how long. It might take me years to do that, but regardless, I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> so, it is a beautifully sunny day here in Virginia, but it's only 28 degrees. It is chilly, and the wind is still whipping. I heard it this morning. I'm looking at the trees here. It looks like it may have died down a little bit. Thank goodness. It has been bitter, bitter cold. I hope that those of you who are in that wake of that storm are doing okay and you have electricity and that all is well around your homes. 
and your, you know, your families are okay and everybody's safe. I always worry, you know. Uh, we have so many uh, from all around the country and beyond across the pond and beyond <laughs> and down under <laughs> and beyond that come come here to my channel and I just wish you all well. I wish you all well, <laughs> no matter the weather. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but it sure felt good to see that scale drop another pound this morning. I will tell you, shoo, I've been waffling back and forth and it was good to see it, you know, drop a little bit, uh, but anyway, all is well with me. Y'all are right up to date with everything that I've been doing. That is for sure. I'm trying to think of something different to do on my secretary. I have that beautiful teapot, y'all know, from uh, Pioneer Woman, and <clears throat> I have a tray, and I have a couple of candlesticks about the same color, in the same color scheme as the, uh, that teapot. Uh, and I may have some florals that might go along with that, but I'm going to be looking for some greenery in here, and I may look for a tray. I do have a, a, a cream tray so the tray I have might work but I know they have like a coastal section in there so I may look to see if they don't have a like that color tray so I'm looking for that and I'm looking for some birds I can't find any birds anywhere oh, my Hobby Lobby is lacking in the figurine bird you know spring kind of that kind of uh, you know garden looking stuff it's driving me a little crazy. So this is where I got those blue birds that I put in my hutch and the other birds that I put up on the candlesticks. So instead of candles on those candlesticks, I thought of doing like I did over in the hutch, something like that, you know, with little birds. Cause I thought that was really pretty and that's sitting in the hutch. So I don't know, I may do something like that, but I, or may do something different. I don't know, but I'm going to see what's what in at home just because I want to do something. I, I want to get out. I want to get out of my house. I want to not be decorating and, you know, we all need a little break sometimes and I need a little break today and sometimes you have to admit that to yourself, you know. But anyway, if I find something at home, I will be back. Okie dokie, you guys. Well, I've been tooling around in at home for probably about an hour. Just taking my time and, you know, looking down each aisle and just really just taking it all in and relaxing. And I didn't find too much. I did buy, I spent like $22. So I'll show you what I got, but I didn't get much. I uh, got this, which I thought was pretty. It just says home, and it has a little. And I and I want to put this in the tray. Now I don't know whether this will pair okay with that picture that I want to put in there, but we'll see. It may. It may. So I think that's pretty. I know it'll go with the. I may have to find another place for my picture. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I know it'll go with the candlesticks. So I got that. And I got two candles <laughs> for those candlesticks. I decided I wasn't going to do, I tried to look for little lanterns or birds or something like that. I said, no, I don't want to copy what I just did over in the hutch. So, but I did get a set of, well, I got me a set of cream birds and they were $3.99. And the candles were $4.99 a piece. So we'll see what I come up with. I don't know. I didn't buy much and I'm not sure whether all this will pair in in what I'm trying to do over there, but we'll see. We'll see moving forward. I don't know what it is about birds this year. There's not a lot of birds. I love me some birds and I can't find the birds anywhere. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> anyway, that is it, you guys. That is all I bought. I went more for just the, you know, 
I went out looking for to do something that I knew I enjoyed. And that was just, you know, walking around and taking it all in and thinking in my mind what I want to do next and where I want to move uh, when I move forward with my uh, family room and in that area of the house too. And I'm thinking about how, if I want to do Valentine's decor out on the front porch. I haven't done any up to this point. And if I'm honest, I don't have a burning desire to do anything out there right now. I think I may just wait until I put some spring decor out there in March. And just forego the Valentine's and the St. Patrick's Day. Just because I've done so much decorating as of late. So 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 much so we'll see moving forward i'm not sure <laughs> anyway okie dokie everyone i'm back home uh, I, and i ended up going to hobby lobby after i got done at at home because chris called me he says i'm still busy doing some stuff so i went ahead and and went to hobby lobby and i was lucky i picked up a couple of things that i've been looking for you guys so I uh, came home and watched a little of Kim's live and then we ran back out and went to dinner and then I just got back. So I'm back and I'm going to finish up this little video now <laughs> that I'm back home. So I have some stuff to show you from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby's florals are not on sale this week. So, and I don't normally pick up florals unless they are on sale in some capacity, but their garlands are on sale. So... I'm fixing to do, y'all remember this lantern that Sweet Sandy there at the uh, Salvation Army got me. <clears throat> I actually saw this in Hobby Lobby today. So they, they, that's where she got this. <laughs> uh, I'm fixing to do a little something with this lantern coming up pretty soon here. So what I'm hauling, a lot of it will be, well, some of it will be for this lantern. So this lamb's ear garland is one of them uh, i'm going to put lamb's ear uh, pair it with the other stuff that i have in the vase over there in my foyer and this is going to sit with that vase this is going to sit on the floor with that vase so i'm going to add lamb's ear into that vase along with some other stuff that you guys saw me haul last week or whenever uh, but I am going to add lamb's ear to it too because I have Candace got me those lamb's ear stalks, so I'm going to. That's where I'm going to use my lamb's ear over there in the foyer. So I thought I would use this for inside this lantern and possibly take a couple of sprigs or whatever and put it up in a funky bow at the top. I'm not going to make a funky bow swag for this one. I'll make a funky bow topper, but I thought I could use lamb's ear somehow. So that's what I bought that lamb's ear for. Let me move this out of the picture. There we go. I also got one more of these greenery garlands. This is what I've been, uh, what I used on my hutch. And I'm not going to show you this hutch because this will be the next video coming up. But this little hutch here, my grandmother's hutch, wait till you guys see it. I'm super anxious to show that to you, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. I want to show you this stuff first. So anyway, so I got me another one of these to use over in... Remember I was talking about doing a tray for my secretary? So I'm going to use this for over there. So I just got two more garlands. That's it. And let's see here. I've got to wrestle some bags here. First thing I picked up, Kristen always gives her little kindergartners a gift you know, uh, for Valentine's Day. So she wanted me to pick up some bags, some gift bags. So I picked up some pink, some red, and some white that she could use to uh, pack up her little gifts for her kids. Just little, these were $2.99 a piece gift sacks, 12 in each. So she'll have some left over, obviously. <laughs> but got her some of these. And then I picked up, uh, well, let's go to this lantern first, and let me talk about this. I picked up a couple of more things to go inside this lantern. Y'all know I've been looking for an angel with a nativity on her, and I, I've just not been able to find something that I want to go inside this. This is a very tall 
galvanized, whoa, lantern, and heavy too. So, I was, I thought if I could find another one of those little figurines, I could put that in here, but she wasn't quite big enough. So as I was just tooling around in there looking for something, their spring shop, our spring shop in our Hobby Lobby is just pitiful, you guys, still. It's just pitiful. So I did come across this little birdcage, though. And I thought, well, how cute. And their tabletop stuff is 50% off this week. And this was $18, so um, $8 for nine dollars <laughs> here's that simple math again nine dollars for this so i got this and i thought this would look super cute in here now it may need to be bumped up a little bit i don't think so though now that i put it in here i think it'll be just fine look at that and i've already got lights in the top of it that'll shine down on it look at that isn't that cute that's cute in there oh my goodness i'm gonna love it and then a uh, lamb's ear down around the bottom of this, in the bottom. And then to go inside of it, I thought some lamb's ear would be cute inside of it. And then I also thought, and if I can get him to work in here, yeah, I can. This little bird, little white bird. Won't he be cute? Look at him sitting on a bed of probably lamb's ear. So that lamb's, that one garland will go for this lantern completely. So they are lacking in birds there at Hobby Lobby too. But uh, this was $5, again, a tabletop decor, so half off that, so 250 for this little dude. So I thought he was super cute. So picture that for this lantern. There we go. I think this will be super cute. So then I was thinking, okay, what kind of bow do I want on this? The lantern, the, I have a uh, wreath on the front door that's a burlap wreath with a green uh, birdhouse on it. And it's got like a big polka dotted burlap and white polka dotted bow. Well, I picked up the polka dot, the burlap, and I was like, I do not like burlap with this galvanized steel like that. I just don't, I just don't like it with this particular one. Now, if it was a lighter colored steel, maybe. So I picked it up and I carried it back and forth and back and forth. I was like, I just don't, I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like it. So, what I settled on was this. Got some more of this, which I love, and pink because there might be some pink in this hutch right here that's gonna sit right, kind of right next to it. You'll be able to see the hutch at the same time you see the lantern. So those two, and I was like, well, I kind of need a third. So I picked up white with gold polka dots. Now, I'm not positive I'll use this because mixing the gold and the silver, I can almost guarantee you is going to bother me. So what I will probably do is add a black and white check, or a black and white, no, check. So that is probably what I'll make a 12 loop. I don't know, I, I'll have to add a fourth ribbon if I'm gonna do a, like a 16 loop, which is what I would like to do for this one because it is a big lantern. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll have to go through my coffers outside and see if I can come up with a, with a fourth ribbon. But for now, it'll be these three, and it'll at least be a 12-loop funky bow. And it's just going to be, like I said, a topper. It's not going to be... Also, too, you can see that... I mean, this lamb's ear. The green of the lamb's ear pairs beautifully with the green in this ribbon. So maybe I could find a green check or green something outside. I'll check and see. But regardless, that will probably be one of the next videos. Will be this uh, will be this galvanized lantern and with a funky bow topper. Uh, probably that'll be my next one and then I'll just put the the flowers so and then after that I'm gonna be moving into the living room and I don't have a lot to do in the living room but the secretary is one thing that I will be styling in there and uh, then I'll be doing a tray you know like I was talking about the stuff that I got at at 
at home and that pitcher and candlesticks and stuff that all that will go on the secretary other than that i have a little table that sits between the two chairs out there that i have my uh milk glass dish that i put the little boys bear in and i have that bike so really and truly i don't have a lot more to go in this series which is good i think that will take us up through next week all getting all that done and then i will be doing my home tour probably pretty close to the end of next week i don't know i'm hoping i'm hoping <laughs> because i'd like to get that home tour in the can you know i am so sorry about my hair you guys please 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 pardon it it will get better in <laughs> videos moving forward although it'll still be like this when you see my hutch video but it is what it is oh well I'm real, right? <laughs> okay, I digress. Oh my goodness. I did pick up just these couple of little uh, vases. I have no idea. I don't have a plan for these, but I saw them and they were super cute. $4, 50% off from the spring shop, from the 50% off. This kind of gave me hope that they were starting to get out their figurines and stuff, but mm, to no avail, no. They didn't have, they have garden like, metal frogs and stuff like that out but they just don't have like the birds and stuff and the little lady figurines and stuff so it's driving me a little crazy uh but anyway i only picked up three more things and these were these are going to go inside the secretary one on each cell shelf faith like a little lettering hope and love faith hope and love and these were each 6.99 considered tabletop decor so 50 percent off 350 for each of these so and that my friends is that that's it that's all i got from hobby lobby i did not break the bank for sure i got paid though today woohoo uh but i didn't i didn't break that bank for sure I didn't spend all that much money uh, and I think I've gotten I uh, please I hope I've gotten everything else that I need to finish this side of the house and hopefully start going over into the other side of the house this feel of decor is what I'm gonna be doing over there probably not quite as light probably add pops of red and burgundy over there but I will definitely be taking my winter stuff off of the uh, off of the fireplace and off of the hearth at the very least I may be adding in more creams uh, into the mix uh, and take out the darker uh, wintry feeling uh, you know colors out there and, and infusing a little bit more of the creams and the lighter in the area feel I wanted to show you one more thing you guys that I found at where did I get that it was at Hobby Lobby the other day it was at Hobby Lobby the other day and I forgot to show it to you and I'm going to put it up on top of my desk uh, when I go over onto the other side of the house again but I wanted to show it to you because just in case you guys might want it it was over in my hop well, let me go get it and then I'll tell you more hang on I'll be right back looky 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 I just thought this was super pretty. I really did. Look at it. It's a lamp, but it's a candle lamp. Look. I don't know whether you guys have seen these in your Hobby Lobby or not yet. That was $30, and it was definitely the spring shop. But don't be fooled on this. The uh, cashier was like, oh, this wasn't from the, from the spring shop. I said, well, I don't want it then. And he looked at me. And I said, it was from the spring shop. It was with the spring shop stuff, but it was with all of this type of looking stuff. And he was like, I don't know. I can't see. And I looked, I had my, put my glasses on and I said, and I can't see it right now, but somewhere in that area, it says spring on it. So if you go into your Hobby Lobby and want this, be sure to check the bottom label for it where it says spring. But it is definitely spring. But I thought this was super pretty. So I wanna put this up on top of my desk 
and with a candle. And Chris said he could rig my little candle light up for me, you know, up there that'll come on with the, with the rest of the stuff. But I just thought this was super pretty. And I'm telling you, I don't see why, I'm not sure. I don't know whether you could make this into an electric lamp or not, but I just loved it. I thought it was so pretty and it matches uh, my lantern that I already have up there and my, you know, that basket, that hen basket that I have up there that looks kind of like a tobacco basket and my, you know, and my plaque that I have up there, my candlesticks that I have the cardinals on, which will probably stay. I love those. And just because it's not going to be winter for spring, I'll, I put cardinals out all year round, like I said, because we have cardinals around here flying through the air here all year round. So I just thought this was super pretty. And I really wanted to show this to you, thinking you guys might like might like this. $30, but 50% off, so $15. And it's heavy, you guys, it's, it's metal. You know, so not not super duper heavy, but it's heavier than say you know something ceramic might be. So I just thought this was super pretty. So that, my friends, is that. That's my whole haul. <laughs> so alrighty, you guys, that'll be it for this one. I'm gonna close this one out now. <laughs> and uh, after this, you'll probably see my hutch video, my little hutch video, and I don't know what's next. I haven't done anything else yet, so I'm not going to commit myself to doing anything else past this video and that one this week, you guys. I honestly need to take a break. So, and I really am going to this time. <laughs> I keep saying that. I keep saying it, but I, I, and I keep going and... One of these times I'm just gonna crash and I'm not gonna be able to keep going. So I want to back off a little bit, give myself some time to rest as much as I don't want to and I hate goodbyes. Let me just say that I hope that those of you who are struggling and suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I love you guys. To bits, to bits, to bits. Hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.